Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Uh, please, guys, continue motivating me or motivating us by giving us stuff to react to. So don't feel shy. This is a reaction channel. Feel free to comment anything down below that you want us to react to. You can give us a link. You can give us the name or whatever it is and we'll be more than glad to react to it you can actually find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there as well subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out so this one seems very very different from what i usually react to or what we usually react to something new something different hopefully the video is a vibe so today I'm actually reacting to the strange similarities between Hindu and Greek mythology. Hmm, this one I really really look forward to. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Hinduism and Greek are the two oldest religions known to mankind. Although both religions do not have any established connection with each other. Surprisingly, the stories told in these two religions have some similarities. Here are some interesting things you will find common in both religions. Number 1. The Holy Trinity The presence of the kind of Holy Trinity can be found in both religions. In Hinduism, despite of all the other gods, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva are considered the three most important gods. Similarly, in the Greek religion, you have Zeus, Hedus, and Poseidon, who govern the heavens, the underworld, and the seas respectively. They are considered the three most important gods according to Greek mythology. Number 2. Zeus and Indra The most important resemblance that comes to anyone's mind is the strange resemblance between Zeus and Indra. Not only the two kings of God in their respective religions, but even their weapons is almost the same. Number 3. Achilles and Karna Like Zeus and Indra, Achilles and Karna also share same similarities. The most striking resemblance is their armor. Both had a kind of impenetrable armor that almost made them invincible. Both were one of the most skilled warriors in their respective epics. Not only that, like Achilles, Karna was also a demigod and before the war, their respective mothers asked them not to participate in the war. If we read the epic carefully, we can understand that it was the death of these two warriors that ultimately led to the end of both wars. Number 4. Hedus and Yamas Hedus and Yamas are two very similar characters. Both are the Lord of Hell. But interestingly, both are not bad. They simply assign a person a space in heaven or hell, depending on their deeds. Number 5. Saptarishis and the Seven Sisters Just as we have the concept of Saptarishis, they have the concept of Seven Sisters. According to our epic, the Saptarishis are the seven bright stars that can control even sun. In Greek mythology, the Seven Sisters are known as Pleiades. Like the Saptarishis, they are also a group of stars. Number 6. Hermes and Narad Both act as messengers and both are children of the two most powerful gods in their respective religions. They share many traits of similar characteristics as well. Sometimes both are shrewd and cunning. It is often known that both tricks and mislead people with their words. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you liked it, do like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely new to this information and I don't know what to think because there's a lot of myths in this world. Even just our cultures have a lot of myths but I'm also 
a firm believer in um, there's no there's no smoke where there's no fire something like that because where do all these stories start from they should have been I don't think someone can just start a story for the sake of starting a story there should be some truth to some of these things that we react to sometimes some of these things that we watch but then I don't even know uh, it was talking about gods I remember the Trinity here has been attached to the three most powerful gods in um, in Greek and in Hinduism so why why though does it mean I don't even understand I don't even understand this issue of the Trinity what does the Trinity some symbolize first of all and why attach it to gods that's something very very new that's something that I found in this video that's why I wrote it down to further understand it and then there, there is also the speak of the lady speaks of two gods not two gods talks about these two lords of hell but they're not bad then why are they in hell does hell exist for the Hindu and the Greek mythology people what's going on I'd love to understand that how can they be lords of hell but everything else depends on their deeds why what made them lords of hell in the first place is it that they seen they did what or someone appointed them and said to a lord of this just to oversee what goes on in hell I really really love an answer to that and lastly um, the lady speaks about seven stars seven sisters I guess the seven stars the Greek mytho mythology and the seven sisters has to do with Hinduism um, but then this seven why the number seven because even in Islam there is the talk of seven heavens is there a relation between these three seven stars seven sisters seven heavens could there be a relation there or maybe how seven heavens are described and and are meant in a different light or i don't know i'm just thinking i'm really really just thinking so if there's anyone out there that actually has more knowledge on this i would really really love to learn otherwise i also believe that no matter what it is sometimes these myths whatever the myth is has a relation that goes deeper than we think that's why i said there's no smoke where there is no fire there should be a fire somewhere even just language you'd be so astonished to hear someone from a different i'm from africa you someone maybe from asia using the same word as i would use and it means the same thing that's why I'm looking at all these myths. There should be some common ground somewhere. There really should be some common ground somewhere. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What do you have to say about the video? The similarities? Do you agree with them? Do you not? Is it reaching? Is it not? And yeah, if there's something like this you want me to react to, drop the link or the name down below. I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.